Hello and welcome to another 101 lab. Today we'll be looking at how to set up your own Kali Linux virtual machine for the purpose of hacking. Kali Linux is a Debian based Linux distribution which is aimed at advancing penetration testing and security auditing. Kali Linux contains several hundred tools which are geared towards various information security tasks and many more can be downloaded from sources such as GitHub. We'll be using a Windows machine for the purpose of this lab. The first task is to download your choice of virtualization software. The two most popular are VMware and VirtualBox. They can be downloaded from the following links. So this is VMware. Personally, I prefer VMware. And this is VirtualBox. And just download the latest versions of both. Personally, I prefer VMware, but the choice is yours. This software will allow us to run Kali Linux operating system within our Windows operating system. This means that things we do in the virtual operating system will not impact our host operating system. Once your choice of virtualization software is installed, we have to download the correct version of Kali Linux. This can be downloaded here. So simply select whether if you downloaded VMware, select the VMware image, or if you download VirtualBox, select the VirtualBox image. Once the image is downloaded, navigate to the location where it is downloaded. You will find a zipped file containing the image. I suggest you create a folder named Virtual Machines or Kali and extract the files to this location. Once extracted, simply open the file and look for the file ending in .vmx. This is the virtual machine image. Double click on this file and it will open in VMware. If you downloaded VirtualBox, the image file will end with .vdi. So let's do that. If we go to our downloads folder, we can see the Kali Linux here is downloaded. We can simply hit extract and pick a folder to download to. So I've created a folder called virtual machines and I have the Kali Linux file here. If we click into that, we can see the .vmx file here. And if you double click this, this will automatically open in VMware. And here we go. You can simply press start in your case virtual machine. I already have this installed, which is why it says resume. Once you double click the file, it will take you to your chosen virtualization software to import the operating system. Click through the importer and accept all the default configurations. Once the importer is finished, boot up the virtual machine. It may take a few minutes to load. Once loaded, enter Kali Kali as the username and password. You'll need to enter a new sudo password to gain administrative privileges. Type passwd sudo into the terminal. Enter Kali as the sudo password and then set a new password for sudo. Once this is done, you will then be able to use administrator privileges on your machine. To ensure you are using the most up-to-date version of the machine, enter the following commands. sudo apt-get install update and then sudo apt-get install dist-upgrade. You'll be prompted for the sudo password. Enter the password you just set. It is important you enter these commands into the terminal to update the operating system as some tools may not work correctly otherwise. You are now done. You have a fully functioning Kali Linux virtual machine to begin hacking. I find it very useful to take a snapshot of the machine from the virtualization software settings once all the updates are done. This is useful if the virtual machine image becomes damaged. I can simply revert to the recently updated working version. So if I show you that really quick, if we go here, right click, you can navigate down to snapshot and you can take a snapshot or revert to the snapshot that you've previously taken. As you can see, this is Kali Linux after I updated my keyboard and upgraded the operating system. And that brings us to the end of the lab.